Hello everyone, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and today I'd like to share a technique that I used to make this card. And I used acetate, which uh, I don't know if you can see it on this card, but I'll give you a better view in just a minute. I uh, used a marbling effect using my Copics for the back of the acetate and it gives it a really unique look and you can use just about any type of alcohol inks uh, or alcohol uh, markers to get this effect. I also used it uh, on this cut piece in the center and then I put uh, blue cardstock behind it to give it that marbly effect and the look that you will get depends on the type of colored cardstock that you put behind the acetate. So I'll give you an example of some of the different looks that you can get depending on what type of cardstock you use behind. Now this one, let me use the white to give you a look. This is a blue marbling effect and that's what it looks like behind the white. If I put it behind a green cardstock, it gives you a little bit more of a bluish green look. And here's another kind of orangey color. And you get more of like a blue-green effect on that one as well. And there's the pink. The blue shows up really well behind the pink. So you have a lot of options to use this technique on different colors of cardstock. So we'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do this. So I've got my piece of acetate and a cotton ball. And I'm using this... Tim Holtz uh, alcohol blending solution and I do get my uh, acetate or clear craft plastic at Michael's and it comes in a pack like this and you can cut it down to whatever size you need to do but normally what I do is I'll cut it in half and make uh, or use the technique on a piece this size. It's half a sheet. And the first thing that you do is, well I've got three different, you can use two or three different colors of my Copic markers. And you do use the chisel end. And what you do is you just go around and just add a blob of color just randomly on the acetate. And since I'm using three colors, I'll go ahead and switch out. And try not to overlap the colors. You don't want to mix the colors into your Copic markers. So I just go in between the areas that I've already added the color to. Okay, I'll switch to my third color. Okay, a little bit more down here. Alrighty. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get our blending solution and add a few drops to our cotton ball. Just kind of work it in there. If you need more, you can always add more to the ball once we get started on blending. Now, I like to do a pounding um, technique and uh, blend the colors together. So, all you do is start pouncing blending your colors together and I think uh, if you just go over it once is the look that I like more of a marbly look uh, if you go over the area several times you might get the shape of the cotton ball I'm going to add a little bit more solution and do this little area here 
and just work it to the ends and blend the two col or the colors together. And I think I'm happy with that. I need a little bit more right here on the end. Okay, so now we just need to let that dry for a few seconds. It doesn't take long at all to dry. And we'll be able to flip it over and see what it looks like. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and lift this and just kind of help it along. <laughs> Let it dry. This it, it does dry quickly since they're alcohol inks. Okay. So now I'm going to flip it over. You can see I've already done some others. And let me see. Go ahead and get my scrap piece of white and there you get a look as to what the white and green look like together. Yeah, let's try a pink. There you go. Let's do the green on green. Ooh, I like that. Really like that. So there you go, and you can use this acetate piece to cut with a paper punch. Sometimes the Punches are a little difficult to get through this. It's a little thick, but I have done it. And of course, your spellbinder dies are excellent, or you can just cut it in circles or squares or rectangles to add to your projects. Thanks for watching.